Baby, how is everything going over there? Everything is going very okay here. I need to check grandma. How is she doing now? I hope she's much better. Yes, darling. She's doing better. But I have to keep checking on her all the time to make sure that she's not stressing herself every time in any way. She shouldn't be stressing herself out. Don't she know that her health is more important to us all? We need her to be fine. She's really important to me, Dennis. I don't want anything to happen to her. Nothing will happen to her. I won't forgive myself if anything happens to her. She has been asking that I bring a man home for her. And with this her health condition, it makes everything more complicated for me here. How does it make it more complicated? She wants me to get married before anything happens to her, Dennis. And that's the truth. I need to get married before her very eyes. He will get married, baby, before her eyes and nothing will happen to her. When are you going to come over to Nigeria? I can't come over now, but very soon, I promise you, Esther, you will see me soon. Let me go and check my grandma. Would you like to talk to her? I would love to say hello to her, if that is fine with you. Talk to your friend for me, Titi. Granny, Dennis wants to talk to you on the phone. I don't know any person with that name. Who is Dennis? He is my lover, Granny. Just say hello to him first. Dennis, my grandma is on the phone now. Hello, ma. I'm Dennis. I hope you are doing very fine today, ma. I'm very happy that you are the one. But when am I going to see you physically? So we can talk about everything. I promise that I will come very soon to see you, ma'am. Very soon? See, I don't want you to exceed two months before you come and see me. As you know, I'm an old woman. I will try my best, ma. Amma, please take good care of your drugs and take your drugs. I will do that. Take care of yourself and always try to be making my doctor happy. Yes, ma. I will. Goodbye, ma. Bye-bye, son. You didn't tell me you have a new man, Esther. I told you to be patient about it. Oh, oh didn't I, mama? Yes, you did. But where is he staying? The way he's talking, he doesn't look like he's even a Nigerian. He's a Nigerian man, mom. He's just in Russia. Russia? Ha, Esther. Isn't that too far? When is he going to come back home now? He will come home soon, granny. He heard it by yourself. Titi, why is it that your friend likes to be with people that are far away from here? When will this man come back now? Is everything okay? Why are you here? I have nowhere to go to but your place, George. I have misplaced my boss money. What do you mean by you've misplaced your boss money? I don't even know how it happened. He sent me to the market to get some goods and all the money just vanished in my pockets. You have to be kidding me, man. <laughs> do I look like I'm joking? Can't you see the way my eye is red? I can't even go back to the store to tell him the money is missing. Like how much is the money? I'm just asking. It's not like I have any money on me. It is $15,000, man. The money is more true. How are you going to do now? Did you tell him already? I can't go back to the shop. I can't tell him something like this. He will nearly kill me. I know how my boss is. He might even say I spend the money. But how can a full grown up man like you misplace money? How, Peter? I don't know how it happened. George, you have to help me out. I have no one. Peter, you know I don't have money on me. I'm even waiting to hear from my friend if he'll be available tonight for us to meet. I told you. I can come with you and see him to help me out with this money. You know when you started this your trade work, back then I told you that you shouldn't do it, that you should go to school. How can I go to school? I didn't have rich parents that will, help, will support me. I'm an orphan, man. All those little change this your boss was paying you back then, you would have saved up and furthered your studies. Let's forget about school. First come and escort me to see my boss. I know with this money you've misplaced now, I doubt you'll ever be freed from your boss. you serve him till maybe when you are 40 years old. I was just about to call you to ask if you're not coming back home again. Mom, how long have I used as antidocas that you're missing me already? I didn't miss you one bit. It's just that you told me you're staying there for two days. But you ended up spending three days. Hope you went to school though. I went to school, Mom. How's everyone doing at home? My sister, Bernard, the children. Everyone is fine, Mom. Poor Lydia, Mom. I don't like the way she's been treated there, Mom. I hope you didn't get involved in a fight with your niece or auntie because of Linda again. I've told you to stop getting yourself involved with them, didn't I? Mom, I didn't get involved in any fight this time around. Don't worry. Because I know you, Lawyer Rose the Advocate. Oh, Mom, are you sure that Uncle Bernard is Lydia's real father? Yes, he's her real father. 
But why does he keep treating Lydia like she's not his daughter? Why is she treated differently in the house? I can't really blame Bernard for his action. A long time ago when he got married to Lydia Smog, she was still very young like him. They both struggled together to get what they needed to eat and drink until things got better. According to what I heard, Bernard sent Lydia's mom to school to go ahead and further education, but she never came back home afterwards. Lydia's mom didn't come back. She didn't for a long time, and everyone blamed Bennett for his action of sending her to school. Like, why would he do that? She was very beautiful and smart. Everyone talked about her in this town, but I think she went with another man. Does this mean Lydia's mom is alive? I can't say. No one knows a thing about her or have seen her for a long time. She never came back after leaving. She might be dead. What if she's not dead, mom? What if something happened that made her not to return? She went with another man. Isn't it obvious enough? She saw the world and wanted better than what she had at home. Now can I blame Bernard for treating Lydia the way he does? But it's not her fault that her mother left her father. She's innocent in all of this, mom. Maybe she's innocent, but all Bernard sees when he looks at her is her mother. She is a striking resemblance of her mother. So what do you expect? His anger is directed at her. This isn't good, mom. Like, this is unfair. Life is always unfair, my love. But what can we do about it, really? Just what? Can intervene, mom. Talk to Uncle Bernard. So at least let Lydia do something meaningful with her life. What meaningful thing can she do with her life? Isn't it obvious that she would also turn to be like her mother with any slight opportunity given to her? She will not think twice before running away. I just hope she doesn't follow her mother's footsteps. I wish she would run away, mom. She's not happy in the house. She's treated wrongly. All she should hope for is it to get a man that will get married to her. Else she will stay in, the, in that house with her father forever. Mom, can't you do something, please? I've been begging you. So that the curse will be on my head. No, Bernard laid a curse already on anyone that dares to intervene on how he treats Lydia. And the curse is very likely to follow because he wasn't happy when he said. Curses aren't real. I keep telling you, Lydia is innocent here. Why is my life this way? Is it that my life is going to end up like this? Is this how I'm going to continue living my life without any direction or purpose? Why did my mom have to die? Just why? Why didn't you stay alive to take care of me and give me a better life? Look at all my mates in the university. Some are even married. But look at me. Here, all I know how to do best is stay at home and do all the chores. How many ladies still even end up as housewives in this generation of ours? <laughs> it's very obvious that this is where my life is likely to end. What are you doing here on the bed? Have you forgotten you're meant to clear the plates on the dining? Or should I do that myself? No, ma! You are Rose. You are telling her to teach you how to read, right? Isn't it? But what do you want to do with reading a book? What do you do? I didn't tell her to teach me, ma. I can't read anything. I wonder how you are able to speak good English, despite the fact that you are this dumb. So go and clear the dining and eat your food. I feel like eat all the meat in the pot. It's good to see you too, Charles. I don't need to ask you how everything is going. It's obvious you're doing very well. You are also looking good, George. You call this looking good? Do you know how many kg I've lost in the last one month? How many kg have you lost, man? You that you are looking fresh. You just returned from the state, so, and you say you've lost weight. I suffered, man. Charles, I've traveled abroad, but I suffered, believe me. You suffered? What happened? Didn't you get a job? I saw your online pictures. Don't be fooled by all the pictures you saw online. I had nothing. There was just continuous bills here and there. I didn't get a good job. Wow, I didn't know this, but you didn't even tell me anything. How can I tell you anything about that when I didn't want to look like an embarrassment? I will not be telling you things when going well with me. I'm really sorry to hear this. Sorry, man. Yes, Charles. I'm looking for a job like this. Anything that you can get for me to do, I will greatly appreciate it. Cause even to eat is a problem. It can't be that bad. Stop exaggerating. Should I show you my account balance? I came back to this country with just 500 man and it's almost done. I'm not saying you are lying about that. I know that it's not easy abroad as well. It's not easy anyway. And that's why I'm here talking to you man. Me and you are close friends. Remember our university days? Of course, I remember all of it. I will see what I can do about it. If I hear any opening, I will let you know. I promise you that. Even if it's an odd job, so fact it will put food on my table and not land me in jail, I'm very very interested. You shouldn't do an odd job, not with this kind of result you graduated with. I don't care about my result. It's someone that has more than enough to eat that will be selective of what job he will do.
That was how everyone said the course won't follow this man. But it ended up ruining his life. Just like the course has been said. Mom, I understand what you are saying. But in this case, Lydia is innocent here. So nothing will follow her. She's not the one that asked her mom to run away. Is that so? So let's talk about something else, lawyer Rose. Let me go and finish school. I'm likely to sue Uncle Bernard for how he treated Lydia. You won't sue my sister's husband, though. You can't do that. Why not? Shouldn't I fight for the less privileged mom? Or I should be selective in whom I want to fight for? You this girl. You don't used to listen. I've told you. Don't get involved in their family matters. It's not my business how my sister and Bernard choose to run their family. It's their business and not our business. If you are not careful, I will stop you from going there. I'm no longer a child, mom. Why do you keep forgetting? You are not longer a child. Because you'll soon be done with school. Or because you are, your body has grown to maturity. Lydia is also not a child. I'm just older than her with a year. Shows that she's not smart enough. I've told you my own rules. I'm going inside the room to sleep. Oh my god, my stomach. My chest is paining me. My chest. What's wrong with you? Why are you on the floor? I told you I was hearing sounds from the living room, didn't I? My stomach. What happened to your stomach? You better get yourself up from the floor. I, I can't. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. What's that bottle on the floor? Did you take the contents inside? What's in the bottle, Dockers? Threat poison. She wants to kill herself. She wants to kill herself, Ben. She wants to kill herself so that everybody will see how we have been wicked to her. You want to kill yourself? What is happening, Daddy? Mommy. You are not going to die. Quietly go and get my car key for me, Sharon. I'm taking her to the hospital. Nobody's dying in this house. What your daughter is doing. She wants to kill herself so that everybody will say that I'm the one that killed her. Isn't it? So that everybody will say I'm a witch. I am at the bar as you asked of me. I'm also at the bar right now. I can see you next to me drinking. What are you drinking over there? It's red wine. It's the perfect wine for our romantic bad dates. Don't you agree? You're funny, baby, but I think that's just perfect for us. So what do we talk about? What do you want us to talk about, my lady? I was the first person that asked you that, Dennis. What do you want us to talk on? We can talk about your parents. I've told you before, baby. I don't really know them. They got involved in a plane crash and I was with my grandma. That's just it. I'm sorry. I remember you've told me this before. Forgive me for asking again. What about you? You never told me about your parents. They are not in Nigeria. They are both alive with my elder sister in UK. Nice. I hope to see them someday soon. Remember, the wedding is here in Nigeria. Ladies and weddings, you remind me of how my senior sister was accepted when she was getting married. Don't worry, baby. Our wedding will be one of the best. It will, because I know my grandma is going to spend a lot of money. Nothing short than 50 million. That from the gown I'm going to wear. 50 million, baby. Yes, Dennis. And like I've told you, you don't need to worry on all expenses. I have to contribute my quota as well. I may not be that wealthy, but at least. You're a wealthy man, baby. Stop pretending about it. Not half as wealthy as you. Are you sure your grandma will approve of me? She will. She doesn't care about my man's financial status. So, fact is, a great guy who is going to love me and treat me right. Why are you still crying, Miss Lydia? I just wish I didn't survive. I'm tired of everything. I don't understand you. Why are you tired of life? Yes, I'm tired of life and everything in it. My life makes no meaning. Your life makes a meaning. Do you know how many people you are going to influence by just being alive today, surviving? Me? Influence people? <laughs> Nothing good can come from me. I don't know you well, but I know that you are too young to be thinking on things like this. You still have your life ahead of you, and no one knows what will happen. My life has always been predicted. It has been planned out already. People make plans, but they fail. Because plans can change at any time. What if the plan doesn't work out and some challenges are met that turns things around? So you see, no one knows. Thank you, doctor. Promise me one thing. If you can do this, you'll make me really happy. What is that, sir? Promise me that no matter how hard life gets for you, you will not think of killing yourself or taking any harmful substance to harm yourself. Can you promise me that? I promise you, doctor. Good. You should rest. I'll check on you later. Drinking by this time of the night, Esther.
I was just sipping a glass of wine, Granny, and I was doing it with Dennis. Why are you still awake, Ma? I couldn't get enough sleep. I was just dreaming about you. I know where you are headed to, Granny, with this conversation. I saw you in a really lovely gown, white and all sparkling, as I held your hand and walked you down to the aisle. I knew this was what you're going to say, Grandma. <laughs> well, don't worry. Soon, Dennis will be back and we'll have a wedding. When is he coming back exactly? Give me a date. I don't yet have a date. He's in the military. And right now, there is no date, but very soon. So I have to wait for no date, no specific time, given on his coming. For in less than two months, or well, most three months, he'll be around. How long have you two been dating? Have you seen him before? For three months now, and he's really sweet, Granny. He knows the right words to say to me to make me happy. He's just understanding. Is he an old friend from your stay in the state? I don't know him before now. We met online. I know that's how it started. You met him online? Yes, Granny. We live in a modern world. We can meet a lot of people online. You met him online, Esther. And you believe every word he's been telling, saying to you? Yes, I do. And he is not a froster. I've called him on video. We've talked. I've seen his work colleagues and more. I see. But has he asked you for money yet? Are you sending him money? No, I wouldn't do that. He hasn't even asked me for anything. Rather, he has sent money to me three times now. Every month when he's paid, he sends me something close to 300000 That's impressive though. I hope you've not told him about your money. Granny, I know you're scared of me falling into the wrong hands. But I tell you that I won't. I'll get extra careful like I have always been. I'm really disappointed at what you did, Lida. Why will you try to kill yourself? I didn't mean to, auntie. I'm sorry. Sorry? Do you know the kind of name everyone would co be calling your parents if only you had died by of that poison you took? Rat poison. I wasn't thinking when I acted. I don't know why I acted that way. You need to stop acting like you are not loved. Like you are suffering in this house and everyone hates you. You need to stop it. <laughs> yes, auntie Titi. Your parents are really disappointed in you. Most especially your dad. This isn't good of you. I expected better from you. Why would you want to kill yourself even now? Why now? I'm sorry, auntie. Don't tell me sorry. You should apologize to your parents out there. They've taken care of you to this extent. How do you think they'll feel seeing you dead? Talk to Lydia Rose. I know you two are close friends. Or do you support this? Why would you want to kill yourself? What came over you? I'm just tired of everything, Rose. That's why I acted this way, but I regret it now. You'll soon be a free woman. You'll soon leave your dad's house. So why will you think of taking your life now? Why now? I don't know what came over me. I just became tired of everything at once. And all I wanted to do was to leave this world. Don't do this again, Lydia. I know it's hard for you at home, but please, this is so dumb. I'll talk to Dennis to come home. You should do that, because I won't be happy if I die without seeing you married. You should stop thinking of death, please, Granny. Who do you want me to live with if you are gone? Do you know how devastating I'll be if anything happens to you? I'm an old woman. I've watched you grow all these years of my life, darling. And you'll watch me for long. You still have like 30 years ahead of you. Do I? Well, I'm going to bed. Don't stay up late and don't take another glass of wine. We both know you will wake up with headache in the morning. Yes, ma. I love you, grandma. If you love me, you'll get married very soon and allow me to see my great-grandchildren. Remember, sleep on time. Granny and great-grandchildren. I'm not sure. I'm ready to even marry now. I don't even know when Dennis will return. If I'm being sincere to myself, dear God, don't let my grandma die, please. Daddy, mommy, I'm sorry for my actions. I'm sorry that I took the poison. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> Please forgive me. You know I've not yet said anything to you since you came back home. What is there to tell her? If she wants to kill herself, she should make sure that she does it outside, where everyone will see her, so that no one will point fingers at me. Mommy, I'm very sorry. See me, mommy. I'm the one you want to make look like a bad person. So that when you die now, everyone will say I'm the one that killed you, right? <laughs> you want me to look like a bad person, right? <laughs> no, ma. 
Please stop crying, ma. I promise that I will never do this again. Do you want to kill your mom? Is that how you want to pay us back after all we've done for you? So that people will start speaking bad about us? I'm tired of all of this. You know what, darling? If she wants to kill herself, just make sure to tell her that she should do it outside. Daddy, please beg mommy for me. Tell her I'm sorry. Shut up your mouth, dear Lydia. What exactly do you want? Just tell me. You want to go and join your mother where she is, is that it? No, daddy. What made you even think of even killing yourself? How can you be in your normal senses and think of killing yourself? Rat poison? Daddy, I'm tired of everything. That's just the truth. I'm tired of it all. What exactly are you tired of? Don't you have a roof on your head? Food to eat? Water to drink? Don't you have all of this? I do, daddy. Since you have all of this, what else do you want? See, if you want to kill yourself, make sure you do it in public. I'm tired of staying at home. I want to do something more with my life, daddy. I want to learn a trade or start working. Daddy.